I don't want to hear girls. I don't want any judgment on this channel. We are not a judging zone. Welcome back though. You're in for an absolute treat. I wouldn't even call it a treat. A disaster, to be honest. You can kind of see a bit of the issue behind me here. Everything, including myself, has gone to shit. How? I don't know, girls. Honestly, don't ask me. Also, second elephant in the room. I know the mess is probably the first. I was out last Sunday, got a burning. Okay, I didn't wear SPF. I just didn't think I needed to. I went to the football last Sunday to watch the tournament. There was like a GAA tournament on at the beach. Great day. Issue was, I did think I was only going to go for like an hour. I thought I was just going to be in, out, gone. I ended up staying all day and then going out drinking afterwards. So it was basically a whole day in the sun. I didn't have one drop of SPF on. Don't recommend. Awful. Really badly burnt myself. Really, really bad girls, honestly. Do as I say, not as I do. That was not good, not fun. Now it's peeling. So do you see this pigmentation line? This is how tan I got. This is the tan, this is my old skin. This is now the skin that I've peeled. It's not good and I got so badly burnt that there was no way for me to stop that peeling. It was like, it was inevitable because I had really badly burnt myself. But anyway, basically Owen's daddy left last weekend or the weekend passed. Since then, I went out on Sunday. Keeping in mind, the house was already a tip before he left. It was really bad. I hadn't done washing all week. The house hasn't been like mopped anything since the flood happened because everything just feels a little bit messy since the dehumidifiers and everything were in. There was two big industrial dehumidifiers, five fans, tape all over the floor. There's now a hole in the floor, a hole in the wall. Here, do you see that? Ignore the mess. I am truly exposing myself in this. This is just what happens sometimes, girls. What can I say? But we're noticing it. We're realizing we need to, we need to get done. It's now nearly two o'clock today. I haven't done anything all day. I've just rotted in every different space in my house and now I'm ready to get it cleaned. I also have literally about seven washes to do. There's like genuinely the bed sheets need wash on both beds. I have a load of washing the size of my house, right? It is, I'll show you in a second, not good. But anyway, yeah, shit, as I was saying, the house has been a mess for like a couple of weeks and it just kept getting worse, 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 worse. And now the dehumidifiers are out, it is time for me to tidy this place up. The only thing is, I know that the people are going to come back to fix that wall and it's going to be dusty again and it's going to really piss me off, but it just has to be done. I can't live in this anymore. It's really pissing me off. I can't do it. I can't do it any longer. I'm going to tidy. I'm going to do a weekend vlog. This is going to be a reset weekend. Completely reset the vibes. Might do a grocery shop. I don't know if that'll go in the next week's vlog. Also, next week's vlog, girls, is going to be me getting myself into gear with my goals again. I need to... I need to sit down and reevaluate because I think I've got further away from my goals this year for some reason. I don't know. We need to reevaluate. We need to look back at my vision board and we need to set ourselves new goals again for the month of April. But anyway, that's going to be the next week's vlog. This is just purely a reset. Cleaning the house, cleaning my shit. Clean, clean, clean. I'm going to be clean. We're all going to be clean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little wrap. Let's go. We'll call this first segment of the reset, my environment. I'm actually thinking I might have to get Owen to go to the laundromat because there's no way that we washing machine is taking all this. I'm about to have a breakdown. Don't have a breakdown. That is not okay. In fairness, every single tile that we own is in that pile and that's just great. I don't like this little life. No, I'm fully breaking a sweat. I'm going to go and sort these clothes out into colours and darks and everything and then we'll reconvene. FML. Look at the two spots that landed on me too. Love that. Thanks for making me down on the floor, girls. That is so kind. That is so nice. Okay, the first load is going in. The lineup is a pod. These ion pods. We're going to do whites and really light greys. I don't know if this is correct. Like, I don't know if I should do that. I'm just a girl. I am just a little baby girl. I honestly don't have a clue how to do the washing properly. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm just doing what I've seen. We don't have a lot of the Vanish powder left. And this is just so good for white. I'm going to use some of this Vanish um, stain remover on some of the little stains. They're on a few bits of the clothes. Just a couple of these. These are a game changer when it comes to smell. But yeah, I'm still figuring it all out. It's quite fun to be honest. Um, but yeah, moving country. Obviously when I moved to Australia, this is the first time that I've actually ever lived alone. At home I did do most of my own washing, uh, for the most part anyway. So I'm not completely new to it. I'm new to having this much, put it that way. It's a full fucking, this, you'd swear this was a family of six. I don't know what the fuck, everything we own is in the washing basket. I'm not gonna lie though, sometimes when I can't be bothered hanging something up, I'll just put it in the wash basket. 
if it's worn. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, do you know what? I could do with a big clean. But yeah, obviously when we moved, our first time living together and yeah, I think when you move abroad, especially to somewhere like Australia, you kind of brush over the fact that it's your first time moving anywhere. Like you don't celebrate getting an apartment as much as you would if you were at home or renting an apartment. Do you know what I mean? Like it's nearly like because you're moving to Australia, that's the big deal and not moving in together or like we don't even really talk about it. it's how it's our first time living together. We just talk about how we're now living in Australia. Do you know what I mean? You can brush over that kind of stuff. Also just gonna put the rest of this powder in actually. Now we tackle the kitchen and this is my least favourite place to clean because I hate doing dishes. I hate it. I'm what? Sue me. Kill me. Whatever. This has to be the worst. Honestly girls, I just don't want to be here. Does anyone enjoy doing dishes? Don't get me wrong, like if I'm watching a wee YouTube I can get into my flow, like, I can just do it. But just every day there's just dishes. Every day there's just dishes every day. Coke Zero for the day that's in it. It's actually not Coke Zero, it's a Pepsi Max. I just love it, it really gives me energy, I really love it. Right. I'm getting a bit delusional, I'm gonna go now wash the kitchen, clean the kitchen. This is the before. I'm actually so embarrassed, right? It actually is a mess. This is the rest of the place. I'm gonna put on some YouTube and I can't watch YouTube and talk to you at the same time, girl, so I wish I could. Please, God, let me do that. I'm gonna come back when it's all clean. Nobody wants to watch me clean, anyway, realistically. I'm, like, if I'm watching a cleaning video, it needs to be really aesthetic. It needs to be, like, wiping and, like, everything needs to be tidy. I am so smelly right now. It is illegal. Yeah, that's the vibe. I might actually show you the bedroom and I'll clean everything and then just show you the after, maybe. When we reconvene, the place will be tidier. Also, Owen's gonna take a couple of those loads to the laundromat because I'm not sitting washing all day. Like, we literally, we don't even have enough room to dry it all. So, take it to the laundromat, wash it, dry it all at once, boom. Get all the bed sheets done and the tiles and I'll do the rest. I'm actually a wee bit, I'm actually a wee bit embarrassed. I hope that, like, yous can relate here. If yous are like, oh, pigsty. Um, obviously, this is a bit extreme because of everything that's been going on. But it does normally get, like, pretty messy and I normally do have a lot of washing. But, yeah, slay. Love ya. I'm gonna tackle this ugly ass cupboard because every time I go in to get like food for ingredients I want to scream because everything falls on top of me and it's very annoying so we're sorting that now. Oh. I kind of love that. Oh. These are my least favourite pasta shell, what do you think? What do you think? I know it still looks messy, but it's honestly, it's more organized than it was before. I put this little tub in. I want to buy more of these. Owen's back. <laughs> the dry clothes. I put spot dots on my lip. No, cover him. I'm not like a massive fan of that like lining. All right, go. Are you doing it yourself? I'm going to have to. It's upwards. This is my last load of washing that I had to do. Owen's done all the rest in the laundromat. There was no way we were going to be able to do all of that washing. It would have took, would have took weeks. And there's everything done. Bed sheets, clothes, everything, tiles, all the tiles washed in like, what, an hour and a half or whatever it took him. That's one. Now <laughs> What do you think of my new Alexa pop? Lilac, same as my candle. I can't explain how much happier I am. The plan is now I'm gonna get a shower. I've now reset my environment. It's time to begin the reset on my body. This is what this vlog is gonna be. This is a full reset, a full life reset. And it's off to a bloody great start, if I do say so myself. Ooh. Okay girls, I have showered. <sighs> I feel so good. There's nothing better than a pre-clean shower. Like, it is unmatched. Picked out a face mask. So we're not going to do much skincare, I might just put on some serums and moisturiser and then 
throw the face mask on. We've ordered a Chinese. It's out of Botany Chinese. I'll show you a video when it comes, but that's the plans tonight. We've got a Chinese coming. We're gonna watch a movie. And yeah, I'm so glad to have a clean house. It honestly changes my whole life. It's mad how just a nice clean house can lift your spirits. If you just feel like I could meditate, I can't wait for the weekend because I am going to do, as I said, I'm going to do like environment, body, soul, mind, a holistic reset. So I am going to be doing a bit of meditation. I'm putting some of the Laneige water face mask on underneath. You can see how like moisturising that is. I need lots of moisture because I'm peeling like mad after the wee stint in the sun that I had. This is to put this on for 15 minutes, but like that's not long enough for me. Are you joking right now? This feels so good. You have to put your face masks in the fridge. Fact. Sorry girls, my camera died. I had to move over to my phone. Use all of the excess moisture down your neck. I need it. As you can see, I'm literally peeling every road. Elbows. And I just need a bit of hair conditioner in my hair. Give me all your money. Repping my pink merch. I don't think I hyped that concert up enough. That concert was so fucking good. Bye for me. Love ya. Night. Oh baby, I think I wanna marry you. Missy. I just got in bed, fresh sheets, shaved legs. I can't explain my happiness right now. This is what I'm looking at. I love this little sunrise lamp. Is it even called a sunrise lamp? It's just one of them lamps that you can change colours. So cute. I feel like a new person already, guys. We're only one day into the video. Good job. Good freaking job. This is the vibe of the room this whole situation here. This annoys me on the daily. Love ya. Right, now we're focusing on the mind and body kind of sections. I needed to get outside to move my body and a nice brisk walk will do that for me. So I'm just going my local walk again. Good evening, friends. I haven't spoke to you. I'm still on the top that I went for a walk in. I know. Disgusting! You're disgusting! Wash yourself. Wash yourself, bitch. Right, I know, okay. I know. Shut up. I'm literally sitting upright, so I came in from my walk and Owen had his friend around, and then I just sat down and was chatting to them, and now they're away to play poker, and I'm like, chilling here. It's now the evening, like it's night time. And I've basically done a bit of research because I want to go to Vietnam this year. Um, my brother's living in Vietnam and I want to travel a bit of Vietnam. And I'm trying to plan a trip. I've been sitting here all evening planning Vietnam. And I'm watching um, another local girl, Aoife McGoey, went to Vietnam last year. She'd done a bit of travel around it. So I've been watching her vlogs. I've been watching everyone's vlogs. Anybody who's been to Vietnam, I'm watching. Just really trying to get a feel for the vibe and see where I want to go. But yeah, I thought I'd come on just update you because I ha literally haven't done anything. For mind body soul today other than looking at traveling videos to try and like get a feel for it i'm also going to sit here and edit my last week's youtube video i don't even know if i have enough footage for last week to be honest i kind of done like a half ass vlog of like random shit last week i don't even know what's in it probably gonna be like 10 minutes long but i have to get it up i missed a week this week so i didn't post last sunday and honestly i feel so bad you know the girls are texting me and they're saying where, where's the video? I need a video. It's so funny when you're being held accountable because back when I started YouTube, like no one was holding me accountable. No one actually gave a shit. Uh, so I was just posting uh, for my five years. But I know we're still not, you know, big deal. But there's a bit more of you watching. So like, I feel like I'm, I have to be held accountable now because you're texting me saying like, question mark, where? Where have you gone? What? What? Why you disappeared? So I'm going to edit that, get it up this Sunday. I'll take the L from last week and just not upload and then this Sunday I'm back every single week, every single Sunday. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm really planning to switch everything up next week. Like I want to make a TikTok schedule because I've been awful on TikTok. So yeah, that's the crack. Happy Easter by the way. It's Easter weekend. You'll probably be watching this week after Easter. Hope you're all hungover. I for one will not be partaking in the drinking because I need, as I said, I need a disciplined week. Good night. Bad news guys, I broke my camera. I broke the lens on my camera. I was on the tripod and it was on like an uneven place and it fell and smashed it. It wasn't an uneven place. It was. You broke it. No I didn't. I broke it so the rest is going to be filmed on my phone for this one which is so annoying I can't even explain. We still must carry on the mind body soul reset so we're going for a swim and a nice breakfast lunch 
probably more so lunch now. A dip in the water for me is unbelievable for my mind, my body, my soul. So let's go. I got the chicken tacos, Owen got the chicken salad, and we got chips to share. Fish tacos. Oh, fish tacos, sorry. Looks great. That looks unreal. Good for the body, good for the soul, good for the mind. I love it. Guys, it's autumn. Sorry. Oi! Oi! Yeah. Oi! <laughs> yeah. Easter weekend, like it. Please ignore my face. We aren't looking great, but that's okay. Just coming on really quickly to tell you is that tonight I am dermaplaning my face. I'm going to use one of these little blades, CeraVe moisturizer, and take off all of, all of the fluff because I want to tint my eyebrows and stuff tomorrow as part of my reset, like my body reset. I've also set my goals for the week. But yeah, I just want to let you know I'm going to dermaplane because my hairs are especially annoying around my like mustache. I don't know who can like, it's all furry, you can't really tell there. I'm not being funny, I don't think I've slept as much in my entire life. If anybody asks me what I've done over the Easter holidays, I napped, I just slept the whole time. Like I really, really like napped it up. Genuinely the last two days, I've had like five hour naps, just like on and off, on repeat, like on cycle. Like I'll sleep for five hours, I'll wake up for five hours, I'll sleep for five hours, like it's been like that for two days. I'm just gonna call it sleep reset, rest reset. Yeah, my body must have needed it. Girls, so I've just been sleeping the whole time. We're going to tint my eyebrows. I don't know if this is going to be the right. This is part of my reset. This is part of my body reset. Like, you know, being high maintenance so you can be low maintenance. Took a clip last night of me doing a bit of dermaplaning on my face. I don't even know if you would call it that. Like, I just shaved my face with one of the dermaplaning razors. It's better for me than waxing. I usually break out if I wax. So I just like use the blade and just and it does the job. I, but my hairs are blonde, so I don't think I would recommend it if you had like dark hair. I would definitely get like wax or laser if you're dark, or you can keep the hair, I mean, no biggie. Let's do my eyebrows. I'm just gonna mix the two colors. It does say to do them separately. I'm just gonna mix them both together because that's the way I know from home. Eyelashes, I'm not gonna do my eyelashes. I don't have eyelashes, so they'll be fine. I can throw mascara on them. It's not a biggie. Prep hair, make sure lashes and brows are completely clean. I'm just gonna use Carmex for this part. I can't wait to just get back into like a bit of routine. I've been really, really just off it, like feeling like shit. I even booked myself in for a dance class tomorrow evening. <laughs> I saw a dance class, it's just a, like a exercise dance, I suppose. Um, and I found out as well that my gym does Zumba. So I'm gonna try it as well. I just feel like dancing and like moving my body in like a free way is the best way for me to like get my heart going without realizing it. And I think that's my problem at the minute. Like I'm really, really unfit, so I get scared. I'm really excited to see if this exercise class is for me. Cause if it is like, it's a game changer cause that will be my cardio for the week. And then I can just like walk and lift weights if I want, you know, as long as I'm getting a bit of cardio. Cause my main goal, I really want to get my heart health going. Like I want to get my heart pumping. I'm very nervous but excited for that. There probably isn't that much more of the reset. Well I am going to do sunrise tomorrow morning and I might do a bit of a meditation down there. Yeah. Right so I'm going to mix these two. These are the two little pots. Developer gel and colour. I'm going to do a centimetre of both because that was what mine was at home. I used to get mine off eBay and it was so good. It was actually my cousin put me on. Shout out Jerling. Shout out Jerry. I'm so in need of getting my hair done. <sighs> I'm in two minds whether just to do it myself or not. Also, people were asking me about my nails. I done them this week, I do it myself. Um, and people were asking me like, what products do I use? How do they do it themselves? Because obviously it will save people a lot of money. The thing is, I actually done a nail course. So I know how to prep a nail and stuff and I have a certificate so I can like buy the products online. Um, I think to get the, especially the gel bottle one, you have to have accreditation, I think. Like you have to upload your certificate. I don't know if there's any other brands. If there is and you just know of them, put them in the comments below because people were asking me. I'm nervous here, right? I'm not gonna talk for a second. a disaster. I'll come back in a second when I have both done. Okay, so this is before. Just running this brush through the tips. Shocked if I can walk uh, the next few days. That was okay, I'd say it's been on for about 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. It says to leave it on for a max of five, but we are, we are badasses on this channel. Bad bitch. What you gonna do? 
what you gonna do when she comes for you i apologize all is gay gay sorry right i honestly don't feel like has that done anything i prefer this like i prefer being on still i don't know if that made a difference big fat fail what shit is that i wonder can you still get the joanna one from ebay here i'm gonna look into that tonight because that that's just not gonna do it anyways i'm gonna go to sleep i'll check back in with you in the morning when we go for sunrise apparently it's given a good sunrise shout out to sean's perception he says it's gonna be a good one i trust in sean night i got like three hours sleep when i'm making the sunrise I just realized I had to the face in my mouth the whole time. Plus, I spilled so much water. And I feel bad to turn on the lights, so God knows what's like. Girls, I'm on my way. When I say I snoozed my alarm, oh, every single one. I was not for going today, to be honest. It's still dark, like, I'm not gonna miss it. Woo! I just have to go today, like, I just have to get up and go. I am not joking when I say. I had about, I'd say I had about three hours sleep there. I'm not even being dramatic. I have been really bad this weekend, like <laughs> napping. Like I've basically just napped on and off. Every five hours I was either taking a nap or I was up for five hours. I was like, I can't even speak. I'm actually really tired, but yeah, I was just fucking up. But I just need to go and see the sunrise. I don't even care if it's a good sunrise. It does look to be a bit of colour, but I need to go. Do you know what I mean? Right, I'll see you when I'm there. Ooh, yeah! We made it! It's very pretty. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch. I'm always pouring out my heart. No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar It's a few days later and Stephen Bartlett's in Sydney tonight and I just bought tickets because there were some left and they went down in price so I used to absolutely love him so I do want to go and see him and give him the benefit of the doubt Thought I'd include it in the reset phase because I suppose Mindset reset. I'll use in a second. I have 20 minutes to get ready, literally. I bought the tickets at half six and he goes on stage at eight o'clock. So an hour and a half and it takes 45 minutes to get into the city. So you can imagine how long I have to get ready, okay? So, ciao. I'm not going to use the final here, so, 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 <laughs> well, well, well. Hold on, this set is up here. Oh, oh my god, that little birdie is injured. Oh, little birdie, get off the rope. Sorry with the angles. This is the best we're able to do right now. Girls, Stephen Bartlett is a legend. He's back in my good books again. I haven't listened to a Stephen podcast in a while and I know there's a lot of noise at the minute about the guests that he is on and they're not the same as they used to be and he's getting a lot of like, people are calling it like quacks on to talk and whatever. But you cannot take away that that man is literally a powerhouse of experience, knowledge. Like, I swear, the way that man can public speak, holy smoky roo. He can public speak and like when I say he had this whole show right it was written out obviously it was a show and there was 5,000 people there I swear to god the way he was able to like relate it to I'd say everybody in that audience left there feeling like they got something from it it is such a skill it's so admirable it's wild and then afterwards we met him so I got to meet him I didn't get a lot of time with him Kiva actually walked out by me and she gave me her book to get signed for her uh, so I had to get it signed for her and so I had to teach him how to spell Kiva he still got it wrong uh, but uh, what do you see what he wrote um, 
that's how he spelled it k-a-o-i-m-h-e close enough like he started writing the i was like c and he, he already started writing the k and he's like i can fix this so i taught stephen bartlett something he was actually unbelievable i really really recommend going to one of his shows it was very much like a seminar it wasn't very like I remember seeing stuff about his past show and it was very like there was an orchestra and stuff. This was not like that. It was genuinely just him speaking. The talent that he has with live speaking. Wow. Blew my mind. I was just watching him like teach me that that is such a skill. He was just able to talk to everyone. 5,000 people at once. Like just talking, discussing. Um, and then he played like clips of podcasts that had never been seen and like questions that he asked for specifically for this tour. But yeah, it was amazing. Got loads from it. He gave lots of good tips on like um, career, marketing, branding, uh, personal life, like everything. So yeah, great night overall. Can't believe that I met him. Like me and Aaron said, like when he hugged us, we were like, oh my God, how many amazing, innovative people has this man hugged? Like I was just thinking of the people that's been in his podcast and stuff. And I'm, I don't know, it felt so weird. I was like, oh my God, the knowledge that he has consumed from these people. I don't know. It was just weird and it was so good and I'm so glad we went last minute. We literally booked the tickets at half six and the show was at eight. So you can imagine, it was a rush. That is the perfect addition to the reset vlog. This is all my resetting techniques. Now I'm gonna get my favorite coffee in Sydney, in Bronte. Literally the best coffee ever, uh, 143 Coffee, I believe it's called. And then I'm gonna go for a dip, a solo dip. I'm listening to the Call Her Daddy podcast with Denise, um, what's her surname? The girl that was kidnapped. And Denise Hoskins and it's really interesting as well goes into more depth than the documentary does also just on the topic on people that are admirable Alex Cooper is so admirable to me how she conducts an interview I would really love to have a podcast that I'd interview people I would love to like learn how to do that that would be fun but yeah let's go and get a coffee can't get over how roasting it is today it's literally been raining in the past like what is that it's literally been raining in the past couple of days but I don't know what's going on here it's like it's a bit hectic there's a lot of lifeguards and stuff so I don't know if there's someone in that water because it is rough first taste oh best coffee in Sydney easily yeah